Hey there, Key Fam. Hey there, Key Fam. Welcome back to our channel. I know it's very excited. I know. Me? I'm literally like in the camera. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Welcome we're back. back with another video, and yeah. we're here talking about toxic relationships. Yeah. This is a five part series because we know that this is serious, you know? Yeah. We know people are dealing with this situation. Yeah. And the thing is, our heart is that everyone has yeah. a fruitful relationship. So, guys, we want to help you navigate what you do mm. if you're in a toxic relationship. Yeah. So, in the first video, what did we talk about? What is toxic? Yeah, we defined it. Yeah. And then in the second video... I can't remember! In the second video, we oh, talked yeah. about the steps you take to avoid entering into a toxic relationship. Yeah, and in this video, yeah. we're talking about, you know, we know some of you are actually in toxic relationships. Mm. And we don't want to say, oh yeah, jump and go as soon as you see a negative, you know, trait, trait yeah. in the person. Mm. We want to give you some practical steps on what you need to do yeah. in order to overcome that situation before you choose to exit yeah because the thing is one of the key characteristics in any successful relationship is to learn how to fight yes i think our generation are very quick to be like i see something bad i'm, I'm going out. to leave yeah. and all we're doing is just practicing the force mm -hmm. because wow. even though anna and i are in this relationship and it's good and it's yeah. healthy we still have some toxic periods yeah. okay when somebody want to come and give me some attitude <laughs> But I need to learn how well, to have you some can grit. No, 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 somebody. <laughs> Everyone who's knows who's got, who's got the loud mouth in our relationship, guys. <laughs> Mate, yeah. do you guys think you're Mr. Perfect? I hope you don't. No, know. no, I'm definitely not Mr. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah, 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 you're not. However, <laughs> you need to have some grit yeah. when you're married in order to push through. Guys, but, you know I I hid in the toilet sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, and, and I go <laughs> open the door and then we talk it through because we got a fight in our relationship. Yeah. So, guys, we're going to be talking about some of the things you need to consider yeah. before you just take the bold step to just leave the relationship. Yeah. So let's get into. Video. So the first thing that you need to do mm. if you're in a toxic relationship is tell them. My goodness. Oh my gosh, this is something that so obvious. Yeah, it's so obvious, but mm. I feel like we need to say it because some people actually don't know how to confront well, yeah. right? And they don't know how to communicate well mm. because they think that oh, I've told them that I'm frustrated, but what they don't realize is that they only tell them in the heat of the moment. Yes. So when you're there and you're, you're arguing, you are you feel like, oh yeah, I'm communicating my point of view, mm. but what you're, you're not actually communicating, you're just yeah. there fighting. Yeah. So the thing is, you need to take time away, away from the situation, mm. when it's just not so heated, and be yeah. like, this is my actual problem. Yeah. Say it in a gentle and loving way, mm. and hope that you can both move past it together. Because yeah. that's when people know that you're serious about something. Mm. You know, in the heat of the moment, me and Gabe say yeah. a lot of things, arguing it out, yeah. whatever, whatever, and then we'll move on and everything's yeah. fine. But the thing but is, even, in, wait, before you go on, yeah. even in that heated moment, yeah. I can't even hear what you're saying. Oh, yeah. I'm not thinking about what you're saying. Yeah. I am thinking about what I am going to say mm. next. So when we bring it up in a position where, you know, it, the, the atmosphere is a bit yeah. more chilled and stuff, and we're able to have a proper dialogue mm. about it, where I'm willing to hear you, it's like, that's the best time to actually Yeah, and I think like, if I bring it up as well, another time, mm. that's when you know it's deep. Do you mm, know what I mean? Because mm, mm, mm. in the moment, we can say a lot of things and can feel like you've moved on yeah. and everything's settled. But then if you're to bring it up again in a more calm atmosphere, yeah. it's like, oh, this is very serious. And exactly. I would even do that in a public environment. Like, mm. we'll be in a restaurant and maybe it's a date night. Yeah. And just be like, babe, the other night, mm. I wasn't really happy with the way that, yeah. you know, you were handling the situation. Mm. I do feel like you've got this tendency that I've noticed a mm. number of times and I really do want to address it because it's Mm. Imagine that. that. That's something that you... That is proper communication. That is proper communication. And that's when I think we realise the depth of what's going on in this exactly. relationship. Yeah, so we definitely encourage you guys to bring it up at a different time. Communicate when things are settled. And then... The next thing that you need to do <laughs> is actually consider how responsive have they been yeah. to what you've said. This is a big guy. This is a big this one. Is big. Like, this uh, is like you've aired your frustration. Mm. Now, what you want to see is someone that's somewhat repentant. Yes. Like, you know, I am sorry for how I've made you feel yeah. and whatever. And they're willing to take the steps to actually become better yes. in that situation. This doesn't mean that the person is going to be perfect and mm. get it right every time. Yeah. But you want to see there's some progressive yeah. Yeah, because repentance is actually change in behavior. Mm. So we need to see something progressing, you know, in a different direction. Mm. It can't just be like, oh, okay, I hear what you're saying. And then it's just like, repeated yeah. action over a long period but, of time. But I know, but some people have some really difficult, like, things yeah. that they're struggling with. Not overnight. And, 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 we, and some people have been through a lot of dysfunction. Yeah. So I think sometimes another thing to exercise is patience. Mm, and then. 
like I think it starts off with like a repentant heart, yeah. rather than expecting someone to change yeah. straight away. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know you. I know you. You like this. You want. You want instant. I know you. You want instant. <laughs> Well, one of the things that I actually love about Gabe's is that, you know, if I share something with him mm. um, that he's not doing right or that I don't like, he really does try. Mm. And I think it's more important someone having the willingness to change yeah. than it is someone, you know, having a stubborn heart. Yeah. I think that's a real negative mm. attribute if someone just doesn't feel like yeah. they need to change. They can't just be like, oh, this is who I am. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. got to accept me for who I am. Yeah. Like, there's something that's actually burning your heart mm. and that person should be responsive to that. Yeah. But however, if you're constantly bringing up something you need to just slow down as well <laughs> but let's just say that this is like one this is like a few things that you brought up yeah. and all that good stuff like you want to see someone with a repentant heart who's yeah. willing to change because it's absolutely impossible to actually work with someone or be in a relationship with someone if they're not willing to grow with you yeah. and stuff yeah 100 percent. and if i look at games and i from where the people that we were when we first entered this relationship mm. to who we are now mm. we've changed so much and that's because for the, the better for the better 100 percent. because the what the other person has identified negative or toxic behavior mm. that we've chosen to change and get better at yeah right so i think that's more important if you see a change in behavior in that person mm. a change in heart then that's something that's just like a, just yeah a, just a general willingness mm. to just get better for you mm. at the end of the day we don't want to just be in a relationship and just be still and not think still. about <laughs> and not think about growing mm. it's about growth and where I'm privileged that Anna's able to see my blind spot yeah. behind the scenes and she's able to challenge them. At the end of the day, if Anna's seeing those bad things, those can be affecting me in other parts of my yeah. life, like in regards to friendship, mm. regards to work. So it's good that your partner confronts you about those situations mm. so that you can deal with them rather than it just festering every other area. The thing is, marriage is like the biggest vehicle that God will use mm. to make you more like him. Yeah. So it's a process of sanctification. Yes, it's painful mm. but beautiful at the same time because you know you're becoming more like Christ mm. at the, you know at the other side of it. So it's just like are we willing to be molded into becoming more like Christ? Mm. That's the number one question. And if that person is identifying toxic behavior in you and you're not willing to change that, then that's a real issue because you don't mm. want to become more like Christ, basically, yeah. is what you're saying. So is that someone that you actually want to pursue in marriage and, you know, have a long-lasting relationship with? Maybe not. Another thing that you need to do is consider getting external help. External. External. Yeah. You know, you mm. can, oh, you can go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, mm. backwards and forwards, and you just feel like you're going crazy. Mm. But then the moment you step outside and you actually get a third party to mm. actually intervene, yeah. oh my gosh, breakthrough happens. This that happens be, to us when this, we're in marriage. Exactly. And, like yeah. we've been through some time. We'll be yeah. like, look, like there's some people that we need to come get your wisdom. Yeah brought them into our relationship mm -hmm. and I think for us we're always thinking about how we can grow in our relationship yeah. if we're not able to see eye to eye okay let's bring a more mature couple yeah. in and I think that really helps us because some people are further along the journey they've mm -hmm. been through the struggles and they're able to impart some of their wisdom yeah. but I would say if your partner is not willing to get that external help and they're like no we don't need nobody yeah. or we could do it on ourselves mm -hmm. like they may not value the relationship enough or they may have too much pride yeah. more than they value the relationship yeah it comes to a point where you have to get to the end of yourself mm. and if you realize that the person that you're with is not allowing themselves to get to the end of themselves mm. then that's a real red flag i mean external help is is important yeah. and sometimes you have to realize you have to humble yourself and be like actually we can't resolve the situation we need someone else to come mm. in and we need them to see things from a different view yeah. than what we're seeing it Definitely. and that really helps because it's not personal anymore <laughs> because sometimes if gabe says something it's mm. as though you're attacking me personally mm. but if it's coming from someone else it's like oh actually maybe i can take that on then Mm. you know so i think third party help is so important yeah. i don't know why we think we need to do relationships all by yeah. ourselves we need to make a call to get counseling yeah. we need to see it as like i value my relationship yeah and i'm actually going to take the steps to make it better mm. it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you it just means that you value something that you have that you want to keep so you want professional help so that it can flourish 100 percent in a toxic relationship mm. you should reconsider your why yeah. oh my very God. important question so important why am oh, i taking mm. this palama <laughs> like what, what's, what what is it why what, why, why, this? what is it like yeah. what lie are we telling ourselves mm. like you might just be oh, i just love them yeah. you know blah blah but when you look deep under the surface 
you're just scared to be alone. Ooh. When you look deep under the surface, you think that you'll never find love again. Ooh. Like, we need to be able to question what is the real reason, yeah. you know? It could be genuine reason, like, you know, you've had such a great relationship, they've just kind of changed, yeah. and you're hoping that they'll go back. Yeah. yeah, like, fair enough. Oh, we've got these, um, you know, we've got children, and mm. we want to make sure that we raise up our children together, so that's a reason to fight. Yeah. You know, it might be, I don't know, we've got all these business opportunities and stuff, and it's going well, and yeah. that's, you know, reasons yeah. to fight. Yeah. Like, there's things that the person adds value, and you want to fight, but sometimes the, not. the person has no job, the person has no teeth, <laughs> the person has nothing, but yet you find yourself in the same palaver over and over again. So you yeah. got to ask yourself why. Yeah, and that's the starting point. I mean, mm. the reason you got into the relationship, you had a why. Mm. So to sustain the relationship, you sometimes have to go back to that why. Yeah. There's times where Games and I will be in the midst of situations, and I'll be like, Lord, what why? was my why again? <laughs> and my why would keep me there and sustain mm. me and everything, even in our dating phase but like some people's why they don't have one don't or have it's, one. Not, it's not it's not it's not it's solid. not a solid why it's based in insecurities yes. if your why is based on your insecurities that's not you're enough going to enough stay reason. in a relationship mm. that is not good for you yeah we really need to just be honest with ourselves mm. i think honesty is the key yeah why are you people in certain relationships you mm. just look at it like doesn't make sense. Doesn't make you sense. You need to have that difficult conversation with yourself. You need to have that real talk. Mm. And that's why we ha we say that you should have, you know, friends around, mm. family around, someone close to you outside of the relationship that you can really soundboard this out with. Mm. And they can give you an honest perspective of yeah. what your why it actually is. Because sometimes, like, I need to go to Adela or my, you know, my family, my friends to remind me of the why. And they're like, no, Anna, you know, your relationship is bigger than that. Is that, is that no, you no, no. So, like, you didn't tell me this. But we're just here preaching nah, on, nah. you know, we're just here helping the people, and then there you are. What's your why then? Anyway, guys, we need to talk about this off camera. Okay? I have my why. I'm not going anywhere ever. Amen. I mean, we're married now as well, yeah, so yeah, it's like, yeah. that's a different When the Lord situation. keeps you, when the Lord binds you, you're yeah, down. You're one flesh. Separate. Come on. Yes. And the last thing that you need to do if you're in a toxic relationship is ask yourself this very deep question. Mm. If I was with this person in 10 years time, what would my life look like? Yeah. So if the they thing, didn't change, right? Yeah. But the thing is like, it's okay to deal with some toxic yeah. in this situation. Yeah, it's like, what? I think I do this. But the thing is like, the way that we like to think, that we like to extrapolate Yeah, yeah, things. yeah, yeah. Love to. <laughs> we like to think like, in the Wait, next 10 yeah. years, what, you know, what is going to change in me yeah. because of me being with you? Mm. They say that, you know, in order to get somewhere, you need to surround yourself with, with, the, right with the right people. Mm. Now, who you let in your household yeah. is probably more important than who you surround yourself with the externally. The most important thing, oh my God. So you've got to be thinking about it. That job that you might be thinking um, you're going to get, you're going to lose it because you're just overly stressed. Mm. You know, you're ch like, you've got to be thinking about the characteristics that they're going to pass on to your children. children. Like, there's so much to be thinking about. Oh my is God. this person someone that you can bear to be with yeah. over a 10 year period if they never change? Yeah, 100%. People don't ask themselves that question. People always think of potential. Oh, they they have the potential to be this, the potential to be that. Mm. Yeah, potential is great, but potential is not reality yeah. in this Where moment. does potential come from sometimes? I know. It's just like, you have Your a idea. dream for the person, mm. the person has no sign that they're going to get there, yeah. but you just have this, is it an ideal scenario that yeah. you will one day be in? Yeah. If the person is not showing fruit to that potential, mm. sorry, they're not going to hit the potential. Oh my gosh. No, but you do have situations where people have been trashed and then all, and then they become something better in the relationship. That but that's more like you've come from a dying situation yeah. and then you go. But then there's a somewhat of intent. Mm. If the person has no intent it's to grow, intent to be so better, true. intent to prosper, yeah, so they're true. not going nowhere. It's 100% true. I think I think like even when we got together you're a completely different person now mm. but even the person that he was then i would have been happy to be with you know for the rest of my life so. we thank god that there's been growth and there's been maturity but even if he was that same person mm. like he's not a toxic person so i just think people are not having these deep talks with themselves and looking at things you know 10 years down the line it's mm. so important to do that 100 percent. so guys we really just encourage you like with regards to this toxic relationship yeah. we all need to fight but we need to be considering Mm. what we do in the midst of it oh my gosh imagine my children <laughs> ending up like this toxic person i think sometimes we have to think about that yeah. or imagine like if i married my ex oh my 
my god. You always that's, say that. I, I always say this, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, my life would be completely different because mm. I saw toxic tendencies, but I did, wasn't willing to address them. I wasn't willing to have the conversation. I wasn't willing to, you know, look at my life ten mm. years down the line. I was just in this bubble, mm. thinking, oh, things will change. Oh, yeah. this is okay. It's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. Blah blah blah. And then what would have happened? I would have mm. been in a toxic marriage. So yeah. I just thank God that you know he lifted the veil from me and I was able to really just step outside that yeah. relationship. But like for me, I always think legacy. Like the, mm. the person you allow in your relationship is the difference between you having a legacy that, you know, moves society forward or you change the generational curses yeah. for your future or someone who just keeps you in there. Mm. It's important to think about the relationship that you're in and think about are they going to add to your legacy. It's so true. Wow. So guys, oh my gosh, this toxic relationship is yeah. turning into something so heavy. Yeah. I feel like you know, it's just oh, yeah. like it's like it. we're just like reliving the past. Yeah, so we've been through the process, 100%. we've been through toxic. Now we're here just to come in and part, yeah. and then hopefully you guys can build up the strength to fight in your relationship. 100%. And then if it if the person's not willing, peace. Yeah, and it's, I know there's not much banter on this series, but it's a real deep topic, mm. and I feel like there's some strongholds that need to just be broken, Amen. and we don't want to talk about this lightly because you know the person that you choose to marry is a big decision mm. and I think that some people are not really thinking about the future and the legacy and everything else that you know could happen as a result of you marrying someone mm. that is toxic so guys hopefully this video helped you for you who are in a toxic relationship yeah. and yeah let us know what you're doing about it mm. DM us message us Facebook Instagram all of that yeah. and we'll see you in the next video mm. Bye. Bye.